Alright, All right, so in the last video, I had colored my keychain and uh, dropped the alcohol drops on there. And you can look at mine and tell that I kind of did it too fast because your instructions tell you not to oversaturate your um, fabric, but to give it time to let the uh, alcohol run along the grain of the um, fabric and the weave of the fabric to allow it to be able to spread your color. So that was um, on this end, I did it a little bit faster and I saturated it too much. So this end, I tried to take a little bit more time in between and give, give it a chance to really run along the, um, the fabric weave and grain there. So now that I have finished my um, keychain, I have taken my pattern. This was your original here. And what I had decided was taking the pattern that you know, um, last week whenever I did it, I actually, on this pattern, just cut it exactly. But I felt like doing a, a little bit wider fabric would be better because it fits over the cup whenever you're trying to stretch it over the cup. But you wanna just make sure that you take your pattern here and make a few marks on the edge just so that you know kind of where you want to color in there. So I just want to go back and demonstrate that or show that to you. Now that you have this piece, you're actually going to take this piece and draw your pattern on here and cut out your pattern from this piece so that you're ready to sew your keychain together. I have fusible um, batting, it's just fusible quilt batting, and I'm going to draw my pattern here on this fusible quilt pattern, and you can use anything that will mark on it, pencil, pen, uh, I don't think the tailor's chart would work very well, so you could use magic marker, or a fabric pen, if you have a fabric pen. All right, so then we're just gonna take and cut out this. Your regular magic markers would probably be easier to get it on there. So if you guys wanna grab some of the regular markers out of the window, that's fine. Okay, so now that I have it cut out, I'm going to put the wrong side of my fabric here onto the glue side of my keychain. And you guys know um, that this is just like interfacing, fusible interfacing, that if you have any hanging off and you put it on your iron, your iron is gonna get sticky. So you just wanna trim this to make sure that you don't have any hanging over. Because even if you lay it opposite, there's a good chance that you're gonna transfer that glue to your ironing board and your ironing board cover is gonna get messy and just goopy.
Now, I'm ready to iron this on and sew it up. So I'll do that in the next video.